Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can crop a image within a circle or any other shape, really. So we have this first instance where we have the entire image and in order to crop it within a circle, it's actually very simple. You want to go under the ellipse tool. So here at the very bottom, you can see that we have the ellipse tool, which you can prompt also by using the keyboard shortcut O. And I'm going to create a circle by selecting the shift key so that we're not going to create the ellipse, but we're going to maintain the same ratio in a squared fashion. And at this point, what you want to do is to simply bring the image on top of the circle. So I'm going to make this uh, uh, easier to see by simply changing the color. And uh, you're going to notice that under the layers panel, we're going to need to bring the image on top by simply dragging and drop it on top of it. And uh, you're probably going to notice that uh, we <laughs> don't really see uh, where it's going to be cropped, which is something that we can change the, uh, very easily afterwards. But in order to make our lives easier, I'm going to drop the opacity just a little bit uh, on the main image so that I can uh, crop it uh, uh, how I prefer. And uh, at this point, I'm going to simply turn the opacity on uh, and uh, I need to select both uh, of the layers. So both need to be selected. And uh, at this point, simply right click uh, and you're going to see this option, use as mask. And uh, there's also a keyboard shortcut, which you can utilize. But the moment that we click on use as mask, you can see that we have our effect achieved. Now say that I wanted to uh, edit the image. I can actually double click on it. And you can see that the image is still there. Even if we examine this mask, it's simply a group with the image and the ellipse at the very bottom. So we can easily adjust, we can resize the image we can uh, change the exposure and all of the other elements. So it's still very flexible. And uh, we can also undo this by ungrouping it, uh, right click, uh, and I'm going to select ungroup. And I also need to select the bottom layer and remove mask. And we're going to go back to the initial stage. So I hope uh, this uh, quick tutorial was helpful. If you want to learn Figma for free, I have over 100 videos on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next one.